Story time, story time, it's time for story time. No? No good? What's going on everyone? This is uh, Veda Day what? Uh, I want to say five. Is it four? This might be Veda Day four. Let's go with four guys. This is Veda Day four and today I thought I'd do a quick story time. I want to start doing more of these. It's very popular on YouTube. And it's basically just telling you stories from my life. Uh, it's kind of like a living memoir, which is kind of an interesting thing. So, uh, we were talking, I was talking with my family about this memory uh, a few weeks ago. Um, it was, as you can tell from the title, my, about my Spanish class experience. Um, when I was, I want to say, a sophomore in high school, I took Spanish 1. Uh, I'm not going to give anyone's names, I'm not going to, you know, discredit the teacher publicly or anything like that, but um, that was probably one of the roughest classes I've ever taken. There is so much that happened in that class. Um, kind of the general problem <laughs> with that class was just a lack of direction from our teacher. Um, she was um, very meek for the most part, um, I'm very unwilling to take control of the class and some of the nastier kids just were running rampant in that class. Um, there was a time though that she did start um, trying her version of, uh, you know, taking control and this one day she, um, took a student who had been refusing to stop talking out into the hallway uh, to lecture this kid. Now, most times this would be a quick couple minute thing where they would just put the kid out in the hall. Most teachers probably would have sent them to the principal's or office or something, but our teacher decided to spend the entire class period in the hallway with this one student, leaving uh, about 25 to 30 of us in the classroom by ourselves, including myself, because I didn't get, you know, into any shenanigans in class. I was always the kid who stuck to following the rules. Uh, I've never been much for rule breaking. So, when this teacher, um, went into the hallway with a student, it was about, uh, I want to say a 90 minute class. Um, this uh, teacher was out in the hall, uh, and the rest of us didn't know what to do. She didn't assign us any assignments to keep us busy. Uh, we hadn't even really begun our lesson yet. Um, so I tried to catch up on other school work while this was going on, but of course, they're the ones who decided to take advantage of her absence. Um, there's this one kid who I'm not going to give away his name either. Um, he just loved causing trouble and being kind of a class clown. Um, he, um, in that span of an hour, hour and a half, um, he got on the phone, the teacher's phone, like to the classroom. And he turned on the TV in the room, and not anything but basic cable. And he ordered pizza. And then an infomercial came on for an electric scooter. And he called the company and actually ordered an electric scooter. I don't know how he managed to do it. I don't know what card he was using to pay for it, but he ordered it. I, we all heard him. <laughs> and, um... This kid is the reason my I am forever scarred with internet videos because um, that was the day I discovered Two Girls One Cup. Now I am not going to get into the details of this video, uh, it's a very nasty video, but in this Spanish class uh, is where I discovered it. So um, he pulled it up on YouTube, or was it YouTube? What year was this? It, it was the internet, let's just say. I'm not sure if it was YouTube or not, but he found the video. 
he was he looked for it on my teacher's computer um, and then I, he showed everyone in the back row uh, because that's, those were who had the best view of the computer screen unfortunately I was in that back row even though I did not want to be <laughs> um, so I had no idea what he was talking about, I had no idea what the video was. He turned the computer around, showed me the video, and my mind is still, still, like, scarred from what I saw. Um, <laughs> and that was, like, way before all these other viral videos came about, but uh, that was my first experience seeing a disturbing viral video, <laughs> was in that Spanish class. Those are some of the more colorful shenanigans that we got into, but the part that is more of a nightmare is the time I was accused of cheating. I've never been able to really get a handle on the Spanish language all that well. Uh, I know a few words here and there, but most of what I've learned has kind of faded over the years. Um, but when I was in this class, I studied really, really hard on this one test towards the towards the end of the semester, I think, and I got an A plus on it. Uh, but instead of giving it to me as an A plus, she pulled me aside and pretty much accused me to my face of cheating, and so she was gonna fail me. Um, I didn't cheat on the test. I told her that, and she didn't believe me. Uh, so, needless to say, I, you know, told my parents what was happening, you know, very calm, I was frustrated, uh, and kind of baffled that of all the kids in the class, uh, I was being accused of cheating by the teacher who I've been nothing but respectful to, um, and we went all the way up to the highest level of the school board, and, um, pretty much... Uh, told them that um, if they didn't fix this that we were going to be going to the school district and if we went to the school district you know things would probably get ugly P people might lose jobs over it um, we didn't want that we just wanted my fair grade um, so I ended up having to take the test again just to prove to her that I didn't cheat, which I'm still frustrated I even had to take the test, but, you know, I took it, uh, I passed, like I did the first time, and it was a situation so where I had to go in after school, and or during lunch break, I can't remember, when everyone else was gone, I had to take it alone so that she knew I wasn't cheating, um, and it was just one of the most bizarre things, because like I said, I, in school, I was never the best student when it came to Spanish, but when I studied hard and did well, I did well because of my own merits. I never cheated, I, and I was a rule follower, so I was never one of the kids who broke the rules, and uh, it was one of the most nightmarish parts of high school was that experience, and it really soured me for Spanish class. Uh, after that, I was never... I never went out of my way to be nice to her. I didn't, you know, get mean with her. I didn't talk back to her or anything. I just, I went my own way. I uh, flew under the radar and uh, didn't go out of my way to, you know, wish her well. You know, I didn't wish her a well, but I didn't go out of my way to wish her well either. Um, just because it's kind of disheartening to know that someone who's in charge of your education um, would rather accuse you of cheating than congratulate you on a job well done. And I found that with a lot of my teachers in high school and I feel like that's a big um, reflection on like a bunch of issues with the education system and the process of finding educators. Um, you know, I there's only one teacher who really um, stuck in my mind as being a great teacher who really um, sold me on their passion and believed in me and it's the, my creative writing teacher Mr. Matteau um, back in North Carolina in high school he was my creative writing teacher and he uh, really encouraged me with my writing and believed in, that I could be a writer 
and never accuse me of cheating. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. He was the best teacher I had, and this Spanish teacher was definitely not Mr. Matteo. Um, very, very strange semester in that class, and I was so glad to be done with it when it was over. Um, so that was my Spanish class nightmare, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. There is a lot going on in that class, and I have a lot of stories from high school. So if you guys would like to hear more stories um, from my high school experience, um, if I want to do more story time so I can go talk to you guys about my health experience and I won't, I won't get into the nitty gritty of what I, what pain I feel every day or anything, but I can talk about the journey of how I got diagnosed and everything. Um, you know, I can talk about more serious stuff, I can talk about fun stuff, uh, from my childhood or my teenage years or even now. Uh, I can talk about the time I met. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson uh, and went to movie premieres when I was 12 and uh, stuff like that. So if you guys would like to hear more story times and if you guys heard anything or have specific questions, leave them down below and I'll be happy to do a whole video for it for you guys. And I'll give you guys a shout out for those of you who ask uh, the question that inspires the video. I'll give you guys a big shout out somewhere on the screen over here. So. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if, leave those comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Like this video, comment on it, favorite, and share it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It means so much to me if you could. And click that eye in the sky. Today's recommended videos, playlists, and more. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this day of beta. And tomorrow should be day five. And we will be doing the March book wrap up and April TBR. So look forward to that, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time for a brand new video. Long days and pleasant nights, my friends.